This episode of Monster Model Review, just in time for tax season, we have the Moon Devil Studios, Badzilla, and the Atomic Pile. Answering the question, do monsters poop in the city? The answer is yes, and this time on the IRS building. This original concept by master sculptor John Dennett comes in six solid hand-cast resin pieces and includes a detailed dioramic base. Badzilla himself measures six and five eighths inches long and three and three fourths inches high. The base measures eight and a half inches wide by four and a half inches deep. Total height with the figure standing on the base is a little over four inches. The kit was cast very cleanly with almost no seams. The pieces fit together perfectly and with two-part epoxy putty to glue them together and a little AV's epoxy sculpt to fill the small seams by the neck and arms, I was ready to paint. I base coated everything in flat black and started dry brushing from there. For Badzilla, I started with a dark gray, worked my way up to a light gray and added a touch of light green for the final coat on the body and a little gray blue for the fins. The base was painted likewise with greens and grays. I finished up with the details like the teeth, eyes, claws, IRS, and the nameplates, and ended with the final black wash on both the base and the figure, and that was it. I really enjoyed building and painting Badzilla in the atomic pile, and I have to say, it's the first time I ever painted feces on a kit. Thanks to John's originality and sculpting talents, this kit was just what I needed to get the paints out and get to modeling. This super deformed comical kit is sculpted with great detail, tells a fun story based on one of my favorite monsters, and would be a great buildup for novice as well as the advanced modeler. Moon Devil Studios has three awesome series in production. The one half scale classic movie monster bust series, including so far Nosferatu, Frankenstein's monster, and the creature from the Black Lagoon. The crypto legends include the Loch Ness Monster, the Abominable Snowman, and the Jersey Devil and the third series, Imaginary Fiends, including 13 awesome pieces so far from Fantasy and Myth. John Dennett has been working in the modeling and miniature gaming field since the miniature market and garage kit hobby began. He is one of the best sculptors in the industry and a great guy. Check him out on our Wonderfest 2015 Show Floor Part 1 episode and Monster Model Review number 159, our Wonderfest 2014 episode. And make sure to check out his website for Badzilla and the Atomic Pile, along with all of his other great pieces at www.moondevilstudio.com. For more reviews, how-tos, hobby show footage, and more, check out monstermodelreview.com. I've been your host, Rob Madison, and thanks again for watching.